Hi everyone, thanks so much for tuning in today. This is Kathy, and I hope that you've had a wonderful Thanksgiving holiday. I'm here today sharing my Thanksgiving card. I know it's posted a little bit late, but um, better late than never. Anyway, I am using the Warm Wishes stamp set by Honeybee Stamps. Um, I just love that little fox. I think that he is incredibly adorable. And I started out with a three and three quarter inch white circle that is cut out of Nina Solar White 80 pound cardstock. Um, placed that into my stamp positioner and then I inked up the little fox there with chocolate brown hybrid ink from My Favorite Things. Um, it is Copic friendly and of course I will be doing some Copic coloring. Once I had the fox stamped out where I wanted him, I lined up the sentiments, um, which obviously that bottom one was giving me a little bit of trouble because it kept sticking to my fingers. Um, but once I got them lined up, I inked them up also with the chocolate brown ink from My Favorite Things. And I did ink it and stamp it three times uh, just to get a really nice bold impression, especially for the word warm because I just, I really love that font and it stamps so beautifully, but I just really wanted it to be nice and bold and crisp. So after I did that, um, I moved on and I added some pumpkins to his sweater. That was one thing that I really like about this particular stamp set is that um, there's a bunch of tiny little accessory stamps or icon stamps that could be added to his sweater. Um, there's the pumpkin that I'll be using in this video. There's a snowflake. There is a rainbow. There is um, an argyle pattern, a leaf, an apple, a daisy, a star, a four leaf clover, and heart. So I'm looking forward to using this guy in pretty much every season. And to get the pumpkin that I stamp onto his little sweater, um, to make it look like it's kind of curving around the side there, I just use a sticky note as a mask just to cover up that one sleeve. And so I kind of really only get like a half of a pumpkin there. Um, but that is what I wanted because I wanted it to look like it was going towards the back of his sweater. And then I just did the same thing on the opposite side. And to get started with the coloring, the one thing that I did want to do was I wanted to have um, his mouth part, I guess his muzzle part. Um, I wanted to be able to leave that white. So I went in with a W0 Copic marker and I just drew lines. So I had a guide to go by when I colored in the rest of his little face. Um, I don't know if it's very obvious in the video or not, but um, the lines were there enough so that I could see them and use them as a guide. Um, I'm going in with the flicking motions. I started with E99, which is actually one of my midtones, um, and I'm going to be going for a center highlight. So I'll be using my lightest colors down the center of his face as well as down the center of his sweater. Um, with that, I'm going to leave you with some music while I finish up the coloring and I'll be back to explain how I got some texture on his little sweater.
So after I was done with the coloring, I wanted to add some texture to his sweater. So I took some colorless blender refill and put it in a little cup. And I just scrunched up a piece of a paper towel because that was convenient and on my desk. And then I very lightly just dabbed over his entire sweater. And the colorless blender, as you know, pulled up some of the color. Um, and it just added just enough texture, which is a lot more visible in the still photos. Um, after I did that, I wanted to make that white circle not quite so white. So I just used a sponge with some antique linen distress ink and just did a real light hand just to soften up that white a little bit. And from here, it was pretty much just time to put the card together. So I mounted the circle with the fox onto a brown circle um, that was just a little bit bigger and um, the brown circle is actually a stitched die, which I believe is from Memory Box. And then I decided to trim off a little bit of the circle. So once I had the white adhered to the brown, I just used a paper trimmer and just hacked off that edge right there. Um, a little tip there when cutting off the side of the circle, I made sure that my words were straight. Um, so when it was mounted onto the cardstock, it would be the one cut side would be flush with the card, but my sentiment wouldn't be all wonky. Um, just used my multi mono liquid glue from Tombow to adhere the patterned paper down. Uh, the patterned paper measures four by five and a quarter and the gingham is four by one and a half. The brown strip is four by one and a quarter and that was just to kind of break up the two patterns. From there I adhered it to a top folding white note card and the final step was to add just a few sweet just a few sequins just to have a little bit of bling. Um, I used brown and yellow. Both of them are from Pretty Pink Posh. Um, different, different sets, but I thought that the brown and the yellow sequins worked well together. And that pretty much finishes up the card. Thank you so much for tuning in today. And if you've not yet subscribed, please do so. I do appreciate the likes, the subscriptions, and the comments. And I will see you next time.